What to do, what to do, what to do. How everybody doing, man? Chilling. I'm happy to eat mother sucker right now. I went and did something for myself today. I ain't did it in a while. I treated myself. Did something that boy I've been wanting to do for a minute. Y'all be some more babies. Y'all be some more babies. Yes, sir. Mm, mm, mm. Look at them things. Look at them. Yes, sir. Tell nigga shit in them. That right. That boy looking fine in the motherfucker already and they ain't put him on. $219. I don't buy joy. I don't wear tennis shoes. I'm a grown man. I don't wear tennis shoes. The tattoo looking nice in 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 his eye. Ooh wee! Gotta get that thing touched up too. But yeah, man, I'm just chilling, man. I ain't heard no bad news back from the house, man. That's a good thing. Don't know how long it's gonna last, but I just I thought I'd share a joyful moment with y'all, man. I know a lot of y'all don't want to see this right now, but man, y'all gotta get y'all mind off the off the negative. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do, man. When I'm trying to bring myself up, I find some positive too. Get on, find something I can relate to that's positive. You know, you're around positive people, you're around positive shit, man. You you do positive things, you do positive, you think positive, you live positive. Got my friend with me, too. I had already made my mind up. I was going to treat myself today. And what I'm thinking right there, I'm thinking, just tell me how they look. On a scale of 1 to 10, y'all tell me what them things look like. I might just come to bed with them on tonight. <laughs> Big yeah, yo. Meet me in the bedroom, baby. Wear number three. In the name of the tombstone. The name of the boots is tombstone. No, they made no ten and a half, nigga. <laughs> it's nine and a half, nigga. Let's see what the name of them things is on. Tombstone. The ultimate rodeo boots. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, Johnny, don't take my boots, man. Don't do that, man. Don't do me like that, bro. Let me make it. Let me make it, man. I work hard for this shit, man. 
A lot of niggas, they, they work hard for to fly in front of their friend. I, I work hard to look good and feel good. Buy shit that I wanted, that I couldn't get. They running in the streets, couldn't get me, bro. Hanging in the streets, couldn't get this, yo. I feel good about buying this shit. Ain't no dope money bought this, yo. Ain't no nigga gave me shit on this, yo. I feel good about this, yo. And get what? I don't give a fuck how small a nigga may think you be. I did this, yo. I made this happen. That's the greatest thing about the whole situation. I made it happen. Hard work, sweat, and tears. Mm, mm, mm. My old lady upset, though. She mad than a motherfucker. God damn, I like to look nice. All work and no play make anybody like dog. Yes, sir. Give me some, uh, some, some heavy stars jeans. I'm going to wait to be sipping on y'all, man. Oh, give me some heavy stars jeans. Dog Levi. Dog boys. I ain't going to get the black, but I'm going to get the, 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 the blue as they got. I might go give me some stay flow and, and iron them myself. Make them stand up in the, in the corner by themselves. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, appreciate that, bro. Hey, man, I wanted the other ones, man, but I was worried about the price. But then I went and got these. I ain't give a fuck about the price. Well, I went and got these more, man. I was like, man, I don't care about the price. I want them. Let me get them. I got to give me some spurs too, man. Yes, sir. I want to do some freaky things tonight. <laughs> yes, I do. I will put my boots on and keep your boots on. Don't tell your friends. Cause they wouldn't understand that you can freak, that you's a freaky woman, baby, and I'm a freaky man. Oh man, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Make... Don't do that, bro. Your style is your style, nigga. Yo, you might be killing me with your style, though. But nigga, when I come out, I be, I be trying to come out hard. I be wanting to shop at a boutique sometimes. <laughs> What's up, cuz? My motherfucking cousin on this bitch. Old Charlie. But yeah, man, that's what I do, man. I work hard. Play harder. Live my life to the fullest and try to stay positive. It ain't nothing like a positive life, man. I thought I thought living that negative shit was the shit, boy. Until I found out. The same niggas you doing this shit trying to impress, those niggas don't give a fuck about it. And the fucked up about it is. We know the women scared of us, so we ain't doing it for the women. And the first thing nigga hollers, we ain't doing it for no nigga either. Well, nigga, when you by yourself, you don't have none of them problems, so you tell me who you doing it for. I mean, I just wanted to share that joyful moment with y'all, man. This shit that make me smile. All my bills paid. I ain't want for shit. My old lady ain't want for shit. What more can I ask for? My sister straight. My 
my other siblings straight. I'm good. But man, it hurt me when I call when when I when I hear from home, man, shit be fucked up. I never disowned Cleveland. But I never thought I'd see Cleveland get in the condition it's in. Bro, I think all of OGs, my nigga, we gotta we gotta just come home, you know what I'm saying, throw a function at the park or something, man, and get this shit right, bro. Find out what the real problem is. I don't think, I really don't think there's too many niggas out there that don't give a damn to the point where they don't want to pull their nephews and tell them, nigga, we going to the park, we finna get this shit handled. Nigga, we need to go to the park with some boxing gloves, have a few niggas at, 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 in the park to make sure ain't no pistols being pulled. Nigga, you got beef, nigga, get them boxing gloves on. I ain't never seen a draw in boxing. I don't know they say it's a draw a few times, but hey, I ain't never seen a draw in boxing. It's either you're going to get frustrated and quit and know that you can't whoop that nigga, you're going to leave it alone. Or you're going to whoop that nigga ass. I just want y'all to understand, bro. This shit bigger than pulling the trigger, man. It, it's three year olds and picked up their daddy pistol and killed their daddy. Didn't know what the fuck a pistol was. So a pistol don't make you a man because you can pull that motherfucker and, and, and shoot it. You use a pistol when that's your last resort. Don't think I'm just getting on y'all, man, just to be getting on y'all. Bro, we bigger than this here. We, we better than that. We got love for one another, man, where I'm from. Like I told y'all in my last uh, video, man, like I remember my mama used to be in tour with motherfuckers. Nigga, them, them folks still fed the kids. Probably didn't give a fuck about if my mama ate it or not, but they fed us. And before long, my mama and them was back tight again. Nigga, y'all tearing wedges up, man. Y'all building wedges through shit before y'all was even born. That's selfish as fuck, though. This nigga around there, motherfucker, I don't fuck with, period, nigga, but I got too much respect for his mama to do something to him. I got too much respect for his brother to do something to him. And I catch him slipping all the time. You don't stand for something, nigga, you would die for anything. Find something in your life that you'll stand for, my nigga. That's all I'm asking. Find something in your life that you can stand for. And I ain't talking about just anything. I'm talking about something that's positive. Something that's going to make you a better man than what you is. I just believe, my nigga, if that shit don't make you better, nigga, that shit going to make you weaker. You know how I many weak ass niggas I met in, in the penitentiary? Just about every real nigga I met in penitentiary say they weak as fuck. Cause shit they did, they shouldn't even be in there for. 
They wanted to be a swell so they can be out going to the movies, going to the football games. I, I was one of them niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was one of them niggas. Nigga, I want to be a swell so bad. I want to be a white boy. I want to be one of them nerd ass white boys going to the movies, scared to fight. Not worrying about a reputation. That's what I wanted to be. It was too late. Nigga, this the life right here, though. And I ain't bragging about none of the shit I got, but nigga, I got... I got a car. I got a roof over my head. I'm able to buy the shit that I like. I'm able to go home when I want to. I'm, I'm able to send niggas home when they need to go. I'm able to feed niggas. I'm, I'm, I'm able to do a lot of shit that I wasn't able to do, man, running the streets. A nigga called me right now and say, bro, I'm hurting. Nigga, I got something on something to do something. But nigga, if I'm selling dope or out there in the streets, goddammit, Whatever I got in my pocket, it's already, it's already accounted for. I'm just speaking to the black men, man. I'm just speaking to the black men. Man, we got this shit, bro. We got this. I'm going to claim it. I know we're going to do it. We too pure not to do it. We the shit everybody want to be like. Every race want to be like a black man. Every race want to be black. Not because of our, our negative shit, but you know what I'm saying? The, the positive they see in us, nigga, they love that shit. How we can take nothing and turn it into something. Nigga, you see how mama them used to take them motherfucking neck bones and spaghetti and make a meal? Man, that shit wasn't no original meal. Nigga, poor families ate it so much till it became a meal. A lot of motherfuckers think gumbo was a made-up meal that motherfuckers just came and made a recipe for a gumbo. No, that was all the scraps left over from a few meals back, and ain't nothing else in the motherfucking refrigerator. Motherfucker mixed all that shit together, and, and voila. Nigga, we, we as black people, we know how to survive. We known for taking nothing and turning it to something. What's wrong with helping another black bro? But like I said in that last video, a lot of us will meet a motherfucker in school that don't give a fuck about us, don't know shit about us, but because they bring a sack, they mama give them allowances and shit. They able to buy weed and buy the drink. Shit, we choose them over niggas we struggle with. And I ain't saying there's something wrong with choosing a more positive person. But nigga don't go against the nigga you struggle with when shit go bad. You let them know, man, they're my homie, man. If that nigga respect you, that nigga gonna respect your homie. Okay, I'm gonna leave this shit alone then. Holler at your homie, man. Tell that nigga I ain't that nigga. I don't give a fuck what a nigga spare me off of. Nigga, you spare me cause I'm Buckshot little brother, nigga, I appreciate that. You spare me cause I'm Shell son, nigga, I appreciate that. I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit.
Let me make. Yeah, man, I'm just sitting in the car. When I get off this live, I'm finna uh, jump on me some blues. My boot and cook. I ain't got enough jack in me yet. I ain't got enough jack in me to eat yet. Just started on that ball. There's a gang of niggas up here from Cleveland. Ask me how many of them niggas I fuck with on a daily basis. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. How many of them niggas fuck with you? Any of them niggas I go around? Tree a nigga do tree a thing. Girl, what you doing with that big old beer? Trying to drink it? <laughs> 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 My neighbor said she trying to drink it. <laughs> well, say, you ain't gonna say you gonna drink it, but you gonna try. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Is she worse than me? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Just chilling, man. Man, just touch base with my, my home team. Let everybody know, man. That they, they got love, man. They got love. I don't give a fuck what you claim, what you is, what you believe in. Nigga, I love you. I ain't got no animosity in my heart towards nobody. Niggas love porn from over here, nigga. If I can help you, nigga, I'm going to help you. What God has said, I got a place in my, in my circle for any nigga who want to eat. Nigga, don't come to me talking about no motherfucking pack, no I ain't got no pack for you. I got an application. You can turn it into my boss, man. If he don't hire you, he knows somebody that will hire you. I got some positive people in my life, man, and I love that. I just believe, man, anything that I'm around is blessed. I'm blessed. And anything I touch, be blessed. Unless I come around somebody that's cursed, that's when I see myself going down. That's when I see I only get the bare minimum. I get just enough to get by. But man, I'm, I'm willing to, I'm willing to help every nigga that wanna wanna help himself. The nigga ain't talking about getting you a plate of food, nigga. I'm talking about showing you how to get the whole motherfucking meal. Nigga, you want to know what I know, nigga? Fuck with me and I'm going to teach you. You give a nigga fish, you'll feed him for a day. You teach a nigga how to fish, you'll, you'll teach him how to feed himself for a lifetime. That's what I'm about, helping you feed yourself for a lifetime. I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. You know what I feel like I'm better than? I feel like I'm better than what I used to be. Oh, but, boy, you know it ain't number low right here, man. Hey, bro, I'm going to stay safe, man. I'm, 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 I'm. I guess I'm like Marlon Luther King and Malcolm X, man. Somebody got to get out there on that front line, you feel me, and talk to these brothers, man, so I got to. If I die doing it, I guess that's my calling. But, man, I hate for a nigga to take me out. Because there's some niggas out there that ain't got no understanding like I got understanding. If your name ring behind me on you doing some negative shit to me, I ain't got no control over it. Because for one nigga, you done, you done killed me.
And I ain't saying that all the niggas I fuck with is, you know what I'm saying, just killers. I ain't saying none of the niggas I fuck with killers. But I know the love we got for each other. Nigga, I hollered at one of my guys the other day. Nigga was so motherfucking happy to hear from me, nigga. It's like we had the best conversation in the world, and we ain't talk for 15 minutes. Now, how much love that is? How much love that is? Nowadays, my nigga, you go around your guy, you ain't got shit to put in this, put in this cup. Or put in this blunt. Man, old fake ass nigga come around here for a nigga broke ass nigga. That's what these niggas be saying nowadays, man. They don't care about the wisdom, the knowledge that you can give them. They don't care that when when they're around you, nigga, they eat good. Even if it's for a moment. I love all my niggas. Even the niggas that done, that done went sour. I love all them niggas. I bet bet not them niggas put their hands on them. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say about it. My beef is my beef. Let me beef with my nigga the way me and my nigga beef. I ain't gonna kill him. And that's the way love is, my nigga. That's real love. The fuck you gonna kill a nigga you say you love? I guess I ain't made for these streets, because I'm a good-hearted nigga. Nigga, I love every motherfucking body I fuck with. If I fuck with you, nigga, I fuck with you. What gay say? If I don't fuck with you, nigga, I don't mind you knowing I don't fuck with you. This ain't no popularity contest. I ain't trying to be down with them, nigga. But I want to unify. I want to unify with all my black brothers. I want a motherfucker to know that your struggle, my struggle. I got niggas that ask me to come stay at my house and say, oh, man, you got a house full. I said, nigga, I got a kitchen. I got a kitchen floor. I got some blankets. I got some comforters. Nigga, I got a place for you to lay your motherfucking head. Yeah. That's what I got for you. Nigga, you want to eat? Nigga, fuck with me. I ain't got no problem with you. You can be vice lord. You can be foe. You can be gangster. You can be whatever. Nigga, you from the town. Nigga, you want to eat? Nigga, fuck with me. You know how to use a drill? Nigga, you, you, you know how to uh put a screw in? Bro, try to come in this motherfucker, man. I, I press add it.
Bro, trying to come in, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, look like he was almost in at first. Man, this nigga uh, that halfway raised me, man, in these streets. Good nigga. Tree nigga do tree your thing. They don't try to get broad in their bit. Let y'all hear, hear bro talk, man. Quite sure you got something to say. But, man, back home, man, what it is, man, it ain't like it used to be. Because I used to be the little nigga at my clique. Every nigga in my clique was bigger than me. And I ain't trying to put none of them niggas down, but I don't think now nigga my clique had more hard than me. I think that's the way I'm supposed to feel. But I know ain't now nigga I fuck with was a chunk. And guess what? None of us got bodies. None of us made a nigga we grew up with, mama cry. None of us did that. Your mama Mike was mad at her. Because nigga, we bust that ass up. But nigga, uh, she, she knew her son was going to get over that ass with it. And she'll be mad again three more days later because we right back hanging together. <laughs> yeah. See, man, that, that, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Nigga went out here sideways, man, trying to impress no motherfucker. Couldn't no nigga send us on no boom mission. Nigga, we gonna question that shit. Hold on, bro, hold on. What this shit benefiting? Nowadays, first thing a motherfucker want to holler is that nation business. Hold on, bro. Where this shit going to pop the nation at? Oh, that nigga problem. That nigga problem. He, 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 he got to be eradicated. For what? Who is a problem to? Shit, I walk past that nigga all the time. That nigga don't, don't fuck with me. I go to work every day. Some, some, some of y'all can say. Nigga, I go to school every day. Nigga, don't fuck with me. See, that was just supposed to be questioning. Why I got to do this bullshit when a nigga ain't, ain't stopping me from progress? And I ain't promote violence when I say this. I wanted to say this the last time. But I want to give a good good ass analogy to these brothers. Y'all will kill one another. But let them white police come right over there and kick your best friend, kick your dad in the ass, and won't shoot your gun at them not one time. A life sentence is a life sentence. But you let the white folk come in your neighborhood, you run, you hide. I don't, I don't promote violence. I ain't saying that you're supposed to get at the white man. But what I'm saying is, don't that shit seem kind of backwards, though? 
that you'll kill one another. But the motherfucker that you know don't mean you no good. Or send you to jail, cuss your mom out, tell her to shut her motherfucking mouth. Why they wrongfully send her son to jail. Trump up some charges. But you won't do shit to them. Like I said, I ain't promoting violence, but I'm giving you something a white man told me. A redneck told me this shit. He was a correction officer. And I knew he was a redneck. He hate black folk. I know this cracker hated black folk. But this cracker said, y'all will take over a whole neighborhood, kill your best friend, rape his grandma, do all sorts of shit, but let a white police officer come in, beat your mama up, kick your dad in the ass, take you to jail, give you a bullshit charge, and you won't do nothing about it, but you'll take over a whole neighborhood doing that. That shit doesn't sound right. They don't, don't sound right to me. That shit really don't sound right to me. I think we could do better. Better. And I ain't saying with the violence. I'm saying that we can we we could do better with the shit, you know what I'm saying, that we choose to do towards one another. Bro, I ain't cooking today, man. I ain't cooking today. Baby had already cooked when I when I got off work. I'm cooking up on some of this shit, man. Trying to trying to feed these young niggas some real shit. Instead of some of that brandy shit, I want to be down. I don't want to be down with no nigga. Nigga, I can drive into a ditch by myself. I don't want none of you, none of niggas following these niggas that ain't gonna treat you right. Ain't gonna lead you right. How many of these niggas that's over you right now demanding that you get a GED? Demanding that you get a job? Demanding that you respect your mama? Demanding that you respect the woman you with? How many of them niggas that you fucking with demanding these things right here? Hey man, uh, I'm gonna jump off the bit for a minute, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna crank back up though. Yeah, man, I'm back. I had to talk to my brother, man. He he was trying to get at me, trying to join the live, but for some reason he couldn't. I'm you know saying he gave me a few things to put out there. Wanted me to share with y'all, man. That man, it's bigger than this here. It's bigger than these colors. It's bigger than what we following. This shit bigger than us, man. If we unite, goddamn it. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just asking y'all, man. All of us brothers asking y'all, man, to put them guns down. <coughs> put them down, man. Your mama, my mama. Everybody mama scared to go to the park. Scared to go to the store. Please, Mississippi ain't never been like that. And for what reason a nigga want to put terror in a motherfucker life like that, man? Be 
be honest with you, bro, I ain't never been scared to walk to the store in Cleveland, even when I was beefing with a nigga. Because I knew only one, only, only one or two things was going to happen. A nigga going to whoop me or I'm going to whoop him. It's a few times I felt like that shit had escalated till, you know what I'm saying, my mama was going to cry. Or I was going to make another nigga mama cry, but that shit never went that far. Man, we got to be bigger than what we showing. We got to be. I don't, I, I really can't see why. We got to be less than what we showing. Why we can't bigger than what, be bigger than what we showing. We showing the motherfucker, we don't give a fuck about nothing. How many niggas want, want, want to go to the joint? Nigga over there, they, they ain't sending little shots out like they sitting out in the street. Nigga, you go over there with three years, nigga, and end up with two L. You don't know what L's is, nigga, that's life sentence. How many niggas gonna hold up for you over there? How many niggas gonna hold up for you? Nigga with that old drop, nigga, uh, the business is the bending. You the bending, you the bending. The nigga tell you to handle that bending, you gotta handle that bending. I don't know how many of you niggas can't handle that bitch. You fall, you falling for anything out here. Even when I'm in Cleveland, man, I stay in my own lane. I do what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a man before I'm anything. Cub, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, bro. I'm live with you. Yeah, you you in there. You in like playing. Die, guy. Yeah, brother. Well, you know that shit, so I'm leaving. Man. Well, about that shit. You, you, you getting the, the word, cuz? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting it to him, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping yeah, I can man. touch somebody. I hope I can, re I'm hoping I can reach somebody. If I can't reach but one, I'm alright with that. Yeah, that JB. He done froze up on me. He in a bad area. Then he kicked him off, goddamn it. Uh, he in a bad area. Man, I'm just trying to reach you, brothers, man. Man, I don't give a fuck what you claim or you know, whatever you want to be or what your religion is or whatever. Do you not understand that you got black skin? That you keep on that ain't nobody going to be there to protect mama, sister, auntie, cousin. 
Ain't nobody, ain't no black men's gonna be there to protect them. Do you not know a white man's dream is to be with a black woman? To have her freely? I'm gonna go a little deeper. Do you not know that your bloodline is the chosen bloodline? You are the chosen people of God. That the white man feel that if he get his blood entwined with your blood, that he can save his blood. What up with it, bro? You know it's love right here, bro. You know it's all love. I'm proud of you too, nigga. I heard, I heard you doing big things. I'm proud of you. If ain't no nigga told you, nigga, I'm proud of you. That's growth. You can be a better man and keep on doing what you're doing, bro. Man, I'm asking y'all, young niggas, man, put them guns down, bro. Please, put them guns down. Please. I ain't even there. So I ain't begging for my life. I'm begging for more of a life that Trying to live a life. Man, put them guns down. Please. What you killing for? You want to buy on the help so bad, nigga, go to war. What's up, cuz? Go to war. I don't even like war. Because you get no answers. Motherfucker tell you you at war for one thing and come to find out you, you, you fighting a war for something else. But my thing is, why should my mama be scared to go to the store? Hypothetically speaking, because my mama did. But why should my auntie be scared to walk to the store? What she did to you? I don't think there's nothing in this world somebody can do to you for you to want to take their life. And, and that's on everything, man. I, I, I really don't see nothing somebody can do to you for you to want to take their life. Nigga, I was junk. Stomp. Ribs cracked. I ain't, woke up, I ain't wake up the next morning and wanted to kill him. Did I want to fight? Hell yeah, I wanted to fight again. Love you too, cuz. But man, I'm, I'm on begging y'all, man. Put them guns down, man. Get your motherfucking back. Get get get, get you a a, a, a a piece of rebar. 
slap nigga on the ankle, slap nigga on the ankle, uh, on, on the motherfucking elbow, hit him in the knee with it. You ain't got to kill no nigga to get your point across. You niggas act like y'all just, oh, if they ain't got no body, ain't shit. Do you actually want them demons? Do you actually want them folks coming on your motherfucking doorstep? 